moment. No one raking of the eyes there for cream. And look out, Mindy now. Going for a backpack plunge. That's what that is. I'm glad you got the name right. We haven't seen that movie in quite some time. Well, they need to pull out all the stops like we said. This is a must win for these two. And Cream and Takao have got to be... I guess we've got to pull out all the stops as well because Kana's going to be pulling off crazy stunts like that. She even heard her own tag team partner. That's how crazy she is. And she's going up now. Wait a minute. Oh, man. And I think Takao luckily moved out the way there. But Kana crushed and burned again. But with the high risk comes the high reward. If she connected there, that would take him out of the match. Will take herself out of the match if it missed. While she's still in it right now. But if she continues doing stuff like that, it is going to take her out of the match. Which means a victory, perhaps. So that would be the technique that uh, Cream and Takao need to use. Get Kana comfortable in this match. Oh yeah, for sure. Get her comfortable in this environment. I think she already is anyway. And make her do some really dangerous, high-risk stuff like that and put her body on the line and then they don't have to do anything apart from move out of the way and Mindy navigating the ropes a bit there picking up Cream and Connor's back with the ladder again oh and Mindy just got launched there nearly landing on that ladder on the outside and look out oh man how extreme will these girls go in this ladder match to keep Amy away or bring her back to the show, which we're definitely starting to miss. She's definitely the toughest female competitor on this show, bar Mandy, of course, but I don't class Mandy as a female competitor. No, of course, you class her as a man, and for Mandy, no, I just class her as the person that can fight with the male. Thank you very much. Which would make her a male. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, shut up. Cream back with this ladder now, putting it back into the corner, and look at this. Back, back punch again from Mindy. No, from Minnie. From Minnie. I think Connor was going for a, a, a red naked choke there. That maneuver that she does, which is a, quite an evil maneuver at that. Yeah. Break someone's neck with that one. And a poke in the eye there for Cream, who's going to be suffering from more than just uh, impaired vision. After this is all said and done, it's all good to do with it, it, how far will these girls go, but it all depends on what their bodies will let them do. And in my estimation, that's not going to be very much. This could be one of the quickest ladder matches ever, and look at this now, it could be, because Connor's climbing up here. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, my good lord, again! Connor crushed and burned. Frame moved out the way at the last minute. And that landing's got to hurt more than being Orlando Jordan on TNA. <laughs> wow, that hurts. See? Astronomical pain there on that one. Connor's bringing in a second ladder here as uh, Mindy's having trouble keeping Cream and Takal here at bay. But doing a good job so far. <laughs> They've both been grounded and now Connor's pointing up. As, uh, oh look at this, it's the Wish Breaker. That's a very old move as well. We haven't seen a lot of finishing moves from Mindy, but there was one right there, the Wish Breaker. And now, uh, look at this, that could be it. Oh look at that, Connor was pointing up. Wait a minute. Two and self press, and now, yes! Yes! That's good news! They got it! Here are your winners! Mindy and Kana! We talked about must wins here, and that's what exactly what Kana, despite all that high flying suicidal action, have done here. They have definitely won, and that means finally, and Kramer's got to be mad about this now. As she was walking into a loaded deck there, they had all the cards on the table. And this match that Connor has made has paid off. And all her doves have paid off. And Mindy here has picked up the victory. And now we can finally get Amy back here right on Raw. Things are about to pick up even more in the female division in my view. Well, that is some brilliant epic news. We're finally going to get Amy back 
a nice victory there by those two and an epic ladder match on top of that for sure but now we got this and I'm sure pretty much Shadow is in good condition he's had a good time to recover and here we go with the main event it's a champions clash to close off this epic night Intercontinental Champion versus World Champion this one's gonna be epic regardless of what happened to Shadow earlier Mark your words because they're better than Mark. Oh, thank you. You gave me that thing. Oh, well, I'm in a happy mood after seeing that. That was brilliant. That was an epic victory. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your ASF Raw main event. Champion versus Champion Clash. Introducing first, from the Space Colony Arc, he is the ASF Intercontinental Champion, the ultimate life form, Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, Shadow's doing double duty here for sure. But he said he was up for it. No, no, no matter what happened, and it looks for sure like he's definitely ready for this match. He wants to prove he's the better champion. He wants to definitely prove he's the better champion. These two haven't had a fight yet with titles. In fact, they haven't had a. This is this may be a first hero on Raw. These two have never hardly competed together. So this should be an epic one, and they want to prove that they're the better champion, but who is going to sacrifice more in this main event? And his opponent, from Sonic 3, he is the ASF World Champion, Knuckles! Well, logic would denote that the World Champion would be better than the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, because it has more prestige, and of course the, the World Champion has to be more tougher, but Shadow has been... Well, he's pretty evil in himself. He's a pretty evil dominant champion at that. He's calm and calculating, and it could be the answer to knocking off Knuckles here. You just never know. But well, that's what we're having this match out. It's the first time ever the champions clash here. Knuckles versus Shadow. And this is going to be another interesting one for those fans to pick. Because, uh to pick their favorites, because both of these are fan favorites. Unlike the first match with neither of them were fan favorites, so it's going to be a tough call on that one, but uh, it's going to be just as tough a call here. And if I was to pick, I wouldn't have a choice either, because I don't know who to pick to win this one. But it's going to be one hell of an epic match, I can assure you on that. Well, I hope, he, I hope so. I hope it lives up to the hype. Although I'm pretty sure it will, because these two are just really tough as champions, but who's the tougher? And, uh, Shadow, oh, both of these are not going to get the distinct advantage, in my view, over each other. No, they're certainly not. Oh, there's a power driver, though. That was pretty unorthodox. And Shadow proclaiming his dominance. Wait a minute. And Knuckles, thing is he just got a power driver, delivers a stalling suplex. But, yeah, you... Knuckles just likes to wipe you out, but uh, if Shadow was able to find an opening, yeah, sure, he could probably pick him apart. That's the only way, though, that you, Shadow was going to get the advantage here, just looking for an opening, picking his spots. And, wait a minute, what is this? Shadow getting Knuckles... Oh, man, that was a jackhammer! And is this going to be over already? No, it's not. Luckily, Knuckles just barely kicked out of that one. But he kicked out all the same with that jackhammer. That, 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 that's a sign of desperation right there, that is. Shadow going for that big a move that early in the match. Maybe it was, was because he was attacked earlier. So perhaps if that is the case, the longer this match goes, the more it's going to be in favor of the champion. You do never know. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see on that one. If Shadow's going to make some more desperation pins, perhaps then that might be uh, evident. And Shadow, oh, comes back with a face buster. Picking Knuckles up again, and, uh oh, look out, Knuckles, oh man, just knocking Shadow in the next week. I think the referee got a bit there too. And look out, referee almost <laughs> got out of the way there, and Knuckles was going for, was Knuckles going for a spear there? I think he was, I don't know. No, look out. On the outside now, and a chop block for Knuckles. Two. 